Hello, everybody. Oh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> sorry about that window popping up. Um, I have a brand new video for y'all, a brand new series, and so I'm going to make this a series. MyAbandonware.com is a place where you can get retro games for free or for the lowest cost. Now, I have used this many times. There is no viruses, um, and if there is, they have these games have all been scanned if they were downloaded to my computer, but the download was from an official source like GOG, so this time I did have to inspect it because of course it was already suspected and patented by them. Um, so, um, I let myabandonware.com choose what I play. Now, they have a random name, I'm sorry, they have a random game gem generator where they search the over 45,000 games on their site and choose one. Now it could be from DOS, it could be from Windows, it could be for a multitude of things. Today we have um, stuff from DOS and the ZX Spectrum. Um, now, unfortunately, this is my second take. I did take this a lot before, so this this is my second take. Um, so I have the folder pulled up here. Oops, there we go. Um, I have the pull. I have the folder pulled up. Um, today we have four games. This is number one in this series. Um, we have Crusher, which was for the DOS. We have Galactic Battle, which is also for the DOS. We have Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death, which you do have to pay for. I will explain that a little bit later. Um, I will paste a gameplay video of this game that I have to, that you have to pay for if you want to play it for yourself, but unfortunately I can't pay for it, so I will be inserting a gameplay video that I have already on my system um, to withhold you guys um, with gameplay of that game. Um, but we'll get to that later. And we have Lords of Midnight, which is from GOG, and it's um, for the ZX Spectrum. So I will be including the GOG link in the description, except the My Abandonware link. And just in case if I ever mention this, I will include all the links of these games so you can play them for yourself in the description. Now, let's get started. So our first game is called Crusher. Now, according to MyAbandonware.com, this was released for the DOS in 1991. Now I am able to play this online with certain DOS games. You do have the opportunity to play them online. I will show you how to get to one of those sites uh, later on in this video. Um, but for now, um, I did play a lot of this on camera. I mean off camera, excuse me, um, and I was really good at it, so let's see how far I get. Um, this is basically just like a maze game. So I'm going to show you with my mouse just from this image here so you understand um, what I'm playing through. Um, basically this blue entryway is where you begin. You have to move these red blocks and get power-ups along the way like this one and then seamlessly, with, within moving those red blocks, make the way to the end, which it seems like the demo person has already made it to the end. So, we're going to try and do that for as many stages as we can. Uh, so I'm going to put down my mic and enjoy playing this.
So that was the game Crusher. Um, once again, if you want to play this for yourself, I will leave the link in the description along with all the other games included in this video. Um, now, our next game is called um, Galactic Battle, which released for the DOS in 1990. Now, what you'll notice, DOS. Thank you for popping an ad right in my face. <laughs> um, technology is, is just crazy. Anyways, um, Galactic Battle, it released for the DOS in 1990. Um, now, this is not what you saw earlier with Crusher. Um, this is not the redirect to the Play Online. Now, I did have the redirect to the Play Online for the last one. But I do not. I did not put it in for this one. So. So I'm gonna show you how to get to the play online stage. So you need to have a video game from the DOS era, something that was released on the DOS. So you want something released on the DOS. In my case, it's Galactic Battle. Um, and only some games have this opportunity to play it online, but, so you go to the game that you want to, so in my case it's Galactic Battle, you scroll down, now if it's, if it is available, under download you will see this link that says play in your browser. This will redirect you to the same site but it will have a hyphen in the middle and it says play online you have reached to the right place now um, I did play a little bit of this off camera um, so let's see how far I can go now alright I'm gonna put my mic down So that was the DOS game called Galactic Battle. Again, I will leave the link in the description so you can play this online for yourself. And I already showed you how to get to the online point. So that is fine and dandy. Now the next one, we're going to be skipping down because Judge Dredd we're going to save for last. <coughs> because that's the paid for one. And I will um, explain you that once I get to it. Um, Lords of Midnight. This was released on the ZX Spectrum, um, and this is available on GOG, good old games, for free. That's where I got this from. I got this from the official link from the Maya Vandiver site. I will include the GOG link and not the B Maya Vandiver link, because that would just be a redirect to the GOG link uh, with the link to add it to your account. And that's basically the same thing. So, I will only be including the GOG link down in the description for you to download this and add this for yourself. Now, if we click on open for Lords of Midnight, now if this does appear windowed for my viewers, I do apologize. I do not have any control over that. It's just OBS and YouTube. Um, I have it in a full screen with, I have it in a full screen format right now on my monitor. So, um, we have the option to do the news story, we have options, we have the exit button, and you can play and update it. We're going to go to the news story. Um, this is how the game works. 
um, the free and the foul, you can pause it if you want to read any of these descriptions, um, because I'm, obviously I've already read them once since it's my second take. Um, so this um, is basically a historical fiction game. It basically just describes the characters for you and how they would act in actual history. Um, and if you did want help, then this would be the thing you would want to read. You can pause and read that if you would like. Now, um, there is this button on the top. Th that is what it's talking about. Um, so, yeah. Um, you can basically go around the grounds and look for the luck or the main points, uh, which may take you a while. That's exactly what happened to me when I did this off camera. So if you're into like a historical fiction type game, then this is, might be the game for you. And if you're even interested in it outside of me, game outside of me already playing it and playing it for you, um, you, again, I'm willing to include the link into in the description. Now we want to close this for now um, and end that story. Um, and we want to hit exit. Now, our last game on my list is Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death. Now, if you click on the link, and again, I will I include the My Abandoned World link, but I will include the affiliate links that do lead you to, like, hey, if you want to purchase this permanently on your computer, then I will include the links for those for you to purchase them on three platforms. GOG. Steam and Zoom. Most of you trust Steam, um, some of you trust GOG, but I have never used Zoom before, so please, but it, I've seen it verified by multiple gamers that I have seen. So, from my word, it is trusted. Don't word me. Don't, don't quote me on that, though, uh, because I've never actually used it yet. So, once again, it is on GOG. Um, on GOG, it is $5.99. Now I do have to warn you, when I do put the gameplay in, this game is intended for mature audiences. So if any younger teenagers are watching and you can handle mature games, that's fine. But if you're under the age of 13, I would suggest you go away after I do my commentary here. So um, on GOG, it is $5.99. Um, you can either add it to your cart for later or buy it now, or you can wish list it for later as well. Um, on Steam, it is a little bit more expensive. Um, on Steam, it is seven dollars and ninety nine cents, um, so like one one dollar upwards. And then on Zoom, it's still five ninety nine and six dollars. Um, now this video that just popped up here, um, that is the gameplay video that I will be including to tie in with this game since I don't actually own it on my computer um, but it but this will be the the first video in the series so there is a series of videos where this youtuber does gameplays of it and if you want to look at more of his gameplays then you should go check out his channel again credit goes to Johnny D Fox for making these series of videos Again, if you want to see more than the first one, please check out his playlist that is probably posted on his channel. Now, with that, I say to you, goodbye. Because that is the only ones that I have. Um, right now, after I click stop recording, you will be redirected to the gameplay clip that I already put into the video via editing. Um, so you will be seeing that in just a couple of moments. So, I say goodbye and see ya in the next episode.
It is the third decade of the 22nd century. Unemployment is endemic, boredom is universal, and only the judges can prevent total anarchy. Empowered to dispense instant justice, they are judge, jury, and executioner all in one. The most feared and respected of all the judges is Dread. He is the law. You are adoring public. Dread, you gotta stop holding your fan club meetings outside City Hall. Dispense with the wisecracks, Anderson. Tell Dread what you just told me. The precogs at Side Division are predicting a terrible plague. Dread, the last thing this city needs is an epidemic. Citizens crammed together the way they are, it would spread like wildfire. I'll keep my ear to the ground, Chief Hershey. In the meantime, disperse those demonstrators outside. Consider it done. Bleeding heart liberals, time to dispense some justice. Greetings, Dread. Stop in the name of the law. This is See you in 20 outrage. years. I'm I'll taking you down. Okay, 15 okay. years, creep. Get on your knees. I'm locking you away. 15. No, we're gonna spend the rest of your natural life in the cube. 15 years, creep. You're going down. 10 years. You'll regret this. In this city, justice comes at a price. That price is freedom. Dread, Hershey wants you to arrest anyone scrawling graffiti outside the halls of justice to set an example. Your weapon. Dude, I only just got right. out. We're gonna throw away the key. Oh. I love the smell of justice in the morning. Come quietly, citizen. Okay, just Six that months thing somewhere else. Breaker. Freeze! Sucks. Okay, okay. I'm giving you three months. I'll put the system on trial. Give me a med pack. Only a flesh wound. Yo, I'll the city. Come quietly, citizen. Oh, come quietly, man. Hands behind your head, creep. Sentence is six months, no parole. I'm innocent! You will all be judged! You just got yourself three months for incitement to riot. Six months, lawbreaker. Control, I got another death cult nutcase for the cubes. Down! Now! I give, give up. up! You're gonna spend the next year in the penitentiary. Why didn't you find yourself some real pups? Hold it, creep! Sure. You're taking what? a three-month vacation to the cubes! Not the cubes? Oh, we're crazy! <laughs> it's Fluffy, darling. He's... <laughs> He's dead. Whoa, <laughs> judges. Freeze. This is not. Hold it, creep. <laughs> Drop your weapon. Drop him. Dude, I only just got out. You're gonna spend the rest of your natural life in freeze. Drop my dad's life in imprisonment. Don't move, creep. Man, I should have stayed life. in school. We're gonna throw away the key. Drop it now. Leave you alone, man. Hands behind your head, creep. Down! Now! Okay, okay. You're gonna spend the rest of your natural life in the cubes. There's an ISO cube with your name on it. Dude, I only just got out. You're going away for keeps. Life. We're gonna throw away the key. Hey! I need medical assistance. It's only a flesh wound. Control to all available 
units. Bank robbery in progress at Ballin Plaza. Assume the position, creep. There's an ISO cube with your name on it. You're under arrest. You got me, Judge. Drop it, creep. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Don't move, creep. Stop in the name of the law. Judge this. You're taking the big ride. Life in prison. You're gonna spend the rest of your natural life in the queue. You're taking the big ride. I am the law. What's that thing? I got a bad feeling about this. Help! Hi, X. Or vampires. are getting a strong signal from the penitentiary where the dark judges are held. Roger control. On my way. I'm out of here. I am the law. 